let's discuss about the topic units and measurements. So what is measurement? Measurement is a process of determining how large or small a physical quantity is compared to a basic reference quantity of same kind. Then what is a unit? A unit of measurement is a definite magnitude of a quantity defined and adopted by convention or by law that is used as a standard for measurement of same kind of quantity. Here we are using international system of units that is SI units which is a modern form of metric system. Here we have seven base units and numerous derived units. So let's see the base units. The first one is length. Its unit is meter, then mass, its unit is kilogram, then time, its unit is second, electric current's unit is ampere, thermodynamic temperature's unit is kelvin, then amount of substance unit is mole, and luminous intensity is candela. So that's the seven base units. Now let's see the derived units. The first one is angle. Its unit is radian, then force, its unit is newton, weight is also measured in newton, then pressure is in pascal, energy in joule, work in joules, and again heat is also in joules. Then power, its unit is watt, then electric charge is measured in coulomb, then potential difference is measured in volt. And also electromotive force is also measured in volt. Then electric resistance unit is ohm and electric capacitance is farad. Electric conductance unit is Siemens and inductance is measured in Henry. Magnetic flux unit is Weber. Magnetic flux intensity is Tesla. Radioactivity is measured in Becquerel. So that's the derived units. Now let's see instruments which measures things. So first one is bolometer. It is the instrument used for measuring radiation by means of rising of temperature. Then hydrometer. It's an instrument used for measuring density of liquid. Then comes hygrometer, not hydrometer, it's hygrometer. Instrument used for measuring humidity of air or gas. Then Lactometer, it is used for measuring amount of water in milk. Then anemometer is used to measure wind force. And salinometer is used for measuring salinity of a solution. Altimeter is an instrument for measuring altitude of an aircraft. Then galvanometer is used for detecting and measuring electric currents. Then telescope is an optical instrument using lenses or mirrors to magnify distant objects. Microscope is the instrument with lenses for magnifying objects or details invisible to the naked eyes. Stethoscope is an instrument used in listening to heart, lungs, etc. Then kaleidoscope is a tube containing mirrors and pieces of colored glass, etc. producing changing reflected patterns and shaken. Then endoscope is an instrument to examine interior of a hollow organ or cavity of the body. Then oscilloscope is a device for viewing oscillations by a display on screen of cathode ray tubes. Periscope is an apparatus with a tube and mirrors by which an observer in a trench or submerged submarine or back of a crowd etc can see things over out, out of sight. Then Let's discuss about some graphs. First one is Cresco graph. It's an instrument for measuring growth in plants. Then seismograph. It's an instrument that records the force, directions, etc. of an earthquake. Cardiograph is an instrument recording heart movements. And heliograph is signaling apparatus reflecting sunlight in flashes. And last one is radiograph. It's an instrument recording the intensity of radiation. So that's about the topic. Thank you.